So if f of x equals negative 4x squared minus 3x plus 7, find f of negative 5. This one's great because it's usually f of x, right? Which means that the x is just x is negative 5. So when we rewrite this, we've got f of negative 5. And this equals negative 4 times x, which is negative 5. We're going to square that minus 3 times the negative 5. And then plus 7. Uh, yeah, this is very formal, though. So formalities can be good and annoying all at the same time. So this equals negative 4, the order of operations. Be careful. Some people's first instinct is to want to multiply negative 4 and negative 5 first, giving you 20. We don't want a number that big to square. So I've got negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. And then I've got minus, well, I guess we do just the exponents, then I've got that 25. Not everyone needs to do this part right here. Now we can use multiplication, which is really what exponents are. So I've got uh, negative 4 times 25, which is negative 100. Negative 3 times negative 5 is a negative 15. I meant pot, yeah. Well, you said. <laughs> Thank you. And then plus 7. And I hope I got that part right, because that seemed like the easiest part. Negative 100 plus 15 plus 7, I get 78. Negative. So f of negative 5 equals negative 78. Mr. Curry, do part of our homework?